A taxi cab driver moves between the airport A and two hotels B and C according to the following rules. If he is at the airport, he will be at one of the two hotels next with equal probability. If at a hotel, then he returns to the airport with probability three-fourths and goes to the other hotel with probability one-fourth. Part A, find the transition matrix for this chain. So I've already written the transition matrix for this chain up here because it's a little bit neater when I impose the, the picture on the screen beforehand, but we'll go through each each row and each column um, and talk about how I got these probabilities just given those rules that we just read. So if you see here where the green arrow is, our starting points here are A, B, and C going down this, down this column. And then along this column is our second step, right? So if we started at, at the airport and we want to go to the airport, well, it says that either we go to hotels B or C with equal probability, which would be one half a piece. So starting at A and then going to B here, it's one, it's one half, and likewise with C. So then we move on. If at a hotel, he then returns to the airport with probability three-fourths. So at both B and C here, we have three-fourths probability going returning to A. And then it says it go, they go to the other hotel with probability one-fourth. So from B, you're already at B, so it's not the probability of getting to be a zero, and then going to from then going to C is one-fourth and likewise with part C. So that's part A, it's pretty straightforward transition matrix given the, inf given the information from the problem. Now moving on to part B, suppose the driver begins at the airport at time zero, find the probability for each of his possible three locations at time two and the probability he is at hotel B at time three. So let's just focus on time two here. What we want is two steps from, from our, our time being zero, right? So what we want is this transition matrix twice. So what we need to do is multiply this. And I have it here as uh, you know, a three by three, but we could add we could add some matrix bars here. It doesn't not really important, right? But just so you know that those are it is a it is a transition matrix, and what we're doing is matrix multiplication. There's a lot of good videos on YouTube if you don't know how to do this. Um, and what comes out here is that if we start at A, now remember this is uh, our A for the airport. If we start at the airport at time zero, what's the probability each of his possible three locations at time two? Well, all we have to do is go right across this row and then note that these are the three possible locations. So. The probability for the possible location at time two at being at the airport is then three-fourths. The probability of being at hotel B is one-eighth, and then likewise we have C is one-eighth as well. So the answer for each of these three probabilities is, is right here because what we have here is P times P equals P squared. And P squared is exactly how you get this jump. Um, from zero, time zero to time two in the problem. So then moving on to the second part of B, the probability he is at hotel B at time three, what we want now, right? Sim similarly, we want uh, our transition matrix to the third, right? We're taking the third step. So this is our second step times another one to give us uh, the third step. And that's how we're going to equate equate where he, uh, what the probability is he's at hotel B at time three. So again, each of his three possible locations at time two, the probability is at hotel B at time three. So this is going to be 13, 30 seconds, right? Assuming that again, we're starting at A and that we want the probability that he's going to be at B. So I'll write this here just as another reminder. We start here at A. We want the probability that he will be at Hotel B, which is going to be 13, 30 seconds. And that finishes the problem.